welcome to this channel update. I'm going to make it quick. Just realised I put I put an Aberdeen roll in. Oh, and I, I love my Aberdeen rolls. Um, <sighs> quick channel update. I've, I've not been well today, so I've not really been out much. Which means I've been on the internet too much and dealing with numpties. Oh, it's my own fault. I should ignore them. So, um, you know, I, I, there's a tendency I've got, I don't know about you, but I, I, I've been using Facebook obviously for like since most people started using it about 10 years or something like that. Actually, more than that. And I get involved with arguments with people. You know, about, so the current topics and I would be, say, climate change, um, I don't know, basically that, yeah, uh, feminism, and it just goes contentious as anything, and I go and say things that annoy people, because I have the opposite view to them, and it, it kind of, after a while, it actually starts to play, actually does play my mental health, I'm not sort of looking for sympathy or understanding. I'm just trying to say that it does affect me. Maybe it doesn't affect somebody else, you know. Or it probably does affect a lot of people. So the best thing to do is switch the fucking thing off! <laughs> right. So, that, that's a really cool one. So what I'm, I went up the loft, got all this art down, and I've got something in my lungs, like glass fiber wool or something. And I've been ill. It, it, I should have wore a mask. There's no lining up there. It's all sort of lying around in the loft. Oh, fucking hell. That's part of a big painting. The other half of that is out in the garage. It's a big long thing. There's actually two, three bits to that. What happened was, um, there's a Range Rover goes with it. It's the other bit. It was in my period of um, doing big stuff. She was all very well, not very brave, but you have to put it somewhere. So, you've probably seen some of them before. That's one of my favourites. It's because I know that guy. I met him at a roundabout in Larbert the other day. Uh, he's a great guy, Robert. So, yeah, that's got some kind of, you know... Did that about five, that's from, you know, about five or six years ago. That's at Cow and Beef Market. Um, so, really, my plan is to sort a lot of this stuff out. And uh, frame it all. You know, anything that's at all credible, frame it. I'll try and do it myself, but I'll also, um, that'll probably go back out to the garage with another bit of it. <sighs> well, there's three bits, actually. So I'll get this lot sorted out, and the whole plan is probably to have them up in the up. And Eventually I'm going to have a... Like an open day or something, you know? Yeah. Right, let's get on with this. Right, I've been... The problem with debating with numpties. So I've been talking to this guy all day. I, I, I decided not to block this guy. Um. So, you know, because... The thing is, sometimes if I block them, we're missing out on a bit of entertainment. I don't know if anybody finds reading these things entertaining. But this guy says, I always brings me much happiness and much mirth. To see to the boy racers rev away at top speed from one speed bumper only to slow down to nothing at the next. Just round the corner we had one for the making where faint and wet weather you couldn't see them. It was so much fun seeing all the fiberglass sports crap fall off the cars as the inexperienced children drove too fast. And um Yeah. It's starting to burn. We're talking about this. I had a lot of, you know, the speed bumps at Falkirk, which they've since taken down. I've had a lot of negative comments. I've I've started deleting. If there's nothing much to say about them, I've just been deleting a lot of them. Um. So this guy, this comment's blocked, but you need to see the rest of them. And I tried getting through to him, and it's just a way. He just got worse. You know. So what, I'm, what my position is that, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll show you the video, 
And if you're a reasonable person, right? You're a reasonable. I mean, I don't know that where that yeah, guy he lives. Won't behave, so we'll get this. See, hit that bumper. So we'll get this. Um, Yeah, you won't behave, so we'll get this. Right, so See, if anybody thinks that that is reasonable, so we'll get this, you know, that somebody um, would have to. Like, see, check the Volkswagen Polo. It's got normal tyres on it. Doesn't yeah, look like a boy behave, racer or so a girl we'll racer. It's like a normal See, person. Like that bumper. Right. So we'll get this. And I said it. I said, well, hi, good answer, but everyone else suffers. Actually disagree, says the moron. His name's old, not too grumpy. Used to lots of accidents and near misses. Oh, oh, that's amazing for you, eh? Since they put in speed bumps, they have been drastically reduced. Well, I, I, I don't believe that. Uh, have you got any, you know, data or st statistics for that? You disagree. That measures. Measures like that damage cars and cause discomfort to disabled drivers and passengers? Question mark. So I'm asking him what he disagrees about. So he disagrees with me. So I said everyone else suffers, right? So what I'm saying is, for a small minor minority of boy and girl racers, like ninety percent of people aren't boy and girl racers. They're normal people going shopping. So that's what I'm saying, and I'm also making the point that disabled drivers and passengers will find it very uncomfortable going over these things, right? So this moron, you can drive over six at 30 miles per hour. You know, I'm actually starting to wonder if he's winding me up, actually. Without discomfort or damage to your car, speed reduction reduced the risk of harm or death in a car more effectively than any safety measures in the car itself. Please don't give me the lame... Example, Formula 1 cars, they are built around the driver. I mean, who the f... Formula 1 cars, what, in Falkirk Retail Park? I mean, the guy, he says things, he has no evidence. He just makes things up, this fucking idiot, right? So I says, you cannot drive over them at legal speed limit, right? So, right, so the speed limit's 30 miles per hour. You should be able to drive over it at 30 miles per hour. And at these speed humps, you can't even drive over them at 20 miles per hour, or 15, without damaging your car. So I said, you cannot drive over them at the legal speed limit if they're an obstruction on the road, as are all speed humps. Have you any credible statistics to back up your claim about reducing harm and death? Do you disagree that measures like that damage cars and cause discomfort to disabled drivers and passengers? Have you actually watched the video? Now, I was just starting to think he hadn't watched it. Yes, I watched the post. There is an optimum speed to drive over bumps. That's correct. He is right with that. It's something like, to get over that, these, <coughs> you need to be doing about 10 miles per hour or something. Not not too fast, because your bumper will bump. As we, I mean, I've got numerous videos of that, right? Um, to drive over low impact tyres. Now he's talking shit. No, low impact tyres give a greater shock to the car and if not at the perfect pressure do not grip in the wet I mean it's like any tyre if it's not at the right pressure is not going to grip in the wet I would say that it's a combination of his poor driving skills and maintenance so he's no idea the gender or sex of that person could be a man or a woman or somewhere in between I had a car with low impacts on kept it for two months and sold it on Useless tyres, but popular with boy racers who we all know are the worst drivers. I mean, why, you know, why would you, wouldn't you just get the tyres that suited your car? I mean, I've got a Citroen C3, it's got low profile, I think he means low profile tyres, but the guy's a moron, mind, so he doesn't, um, he is a moron, so he's calling them low impact tyres, which is, I think that's something he's made up himself. I think he means low profile, but it's so difficult to have any, get any sense out of this guy. Um, and then so he, instead of changing the tyres the moron went and changed got rid of the car yeah I do know that obviously some tyres you know you should go with the manufacturer's recommendations and for example in my Citroen C3 I've got Peugeot 206 GT alloys on it which has got 45 profile tyres I've never had any problems so he's talking to all shit right but yeah I think and actually I'll, I'll apologise 
I am. I've just contradicted myself. It is better to have you know bigger profile tires. I think it probably would be, but uh, it all kind of depends, really. Um, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, how low is your car? You know, if you've got a lowering kit on it, then that's a bad thing, right? So that's just dumb. What are you talking about now? Do you mean low profile tires? Correct, there is an optimum speed to drive over these bumps. The tyres on the white Volkswagen Polo look like 55 profile tyres. So they're not that low. And they don't look flat. The Volkswagen doesn't look generally badly maintained. Probably as an ordinary, everyday person driving it. Not necessarily a boy or girl racer, just an ordinary person attempting to go shopping and not necessarily wanting to put their driving skills to any test. So that's what I'm saying is, it's just a reasonable person going shopping with her car. Right? They don't need some fucking old moron that this guy try to tell them that they need special skills and everything because he's so brilliant. The other thing that gets me about this guy is, does he live in a retail park? You know, because to me, like, like, I don't really have a problem with boy and girl racers, but it, I mean, it, it maybe depends where you live. But what the way I see it is, young people like that, they're being persecuted all the time. They need somewhere to have a bit of fun, right? If that means flying around in a car, has this old fucker never done anything like that? You know, so he's just one of these miserable people who doesn't have any joy in his life and doesn't want anybody else to have any joy. I don't even, I didn't even ask if he's re reproduced, you know. I get a feeling, no. I think he's just one of these miserable people that really, you know, really shouldn't be around anymore, actually. Because they, they sit around moaning about everything, but they, they feed off humanity and do nothing in return. Sit and moan, right? Too many people think that their car... Let's see here he goes. Crap driver or something wrong with those tyres. So he's still sticking to the tyre thing, even though I've disproved him. The, the, the reason why the wheels are spinning on that is because the, the the humps are too high and the and the driver has not kept up momentum, right? Which was the whole reason why it was dangerous, because he wasn't paying attention. They don't pay attention to pedestrians. Too many people think their car is the most important thing. It's a machine to get you from A to B. Unfortunately, too many people drive them badly, so you have to have things like speed humps. Get a life, he says. If you don't like them, don't drive. I mean, that's a stupid thing to say. So I'm supposed to... Like, uh, so anything happens, like a government does something, I'm just supposed to just cave in and stop driving. You know, I'm not, I'm not supposed to, to comment on it or do anything about it. Is that So that's what this moron's saying. Um... You don't get a life, so I've got to go and get a life, you know. Um, so then he goes, so I said, we already established that there were lots of cars struggling over this speed. So there's loads of videos, right? It's not just that video. So there's so many incompetent people there that can't drive like him. He's a brilliant driver. They're all useless. Over the speed humps. Lots of footage all makes and models, not just the white Volkswagen. It's you that is demonstrating how uncaring you are for fellow citizens with an appalling attitude to young drivers and the disabled. I have a life, don't tell me about my life as you know nothing about it. I'm perfectly entitled to have my opinions as what I believe is right and wrong. Throughout this thread you have refused to answer the question, are you saying that those speed humps are not hazardous to cars, disabled drivers and passengers? It's not a hard question. The reason you can't or won't answer it is because you cannot admit that you are wrong and have been shown to be wrong. Now, so what he does now is, so I realise that I really wasn't getting anywhere with this guy, right? So, what you do there is... So he sent me another message. Remember, I've got the power here, um, for the most part, because I've got a load of blocked words, and he's used... So I'm approving his comments. And it, it's really just... I, I thought it might be interesting to have a debate with him, but as I got to know him, I don't like him, and I don't want to speak to him anymore. So then he says, I look at the post... See, it gets even thicker. I think what a crap studio driver you look at and think, boo-hoo, speed humps might hurt my darling little car. I mean, I can't I can't drive like an idiot. Right, so what I can do there is, I'm not approving that comment. So it, it means that he's, he's being censored by me. You know, I've decided he's a moron and I don't want to hear any more from him. But I haven't, I've decided... Um, not to block them, but I probably will. I think you are actually better blocking them because idiots like that, you don't know what they're up to. John Froggett. I mean, Fro John Froggett. I mean, what the fuck? Where's where's that come from? Where, where's, you know, um, let's have a look at some art. Oh. 
I mean, maybe he's just a. I got a quote the other day because one of the um, uh, channel updates, I had to delete it. I need to actually uh, put it back on because my address was on the video. <laughs> so I had to delete it. Right, English, it's an English name. Uh, hab habitational name from Froggit in Derbyshire, probably from Old English Frogga, Frog and co Cottage, meaning Frog Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> he really is a moron. Um, but I'll we'll leave him on. Oh, what the hell's happening now? Um, we'll leave him for now, I think. Eh? <laughs> so what, I, what I'll do now is I'll monitor. He's not going to answer because I, I haven't, I haven't answered them back. I'm fed up with him. Right? I, I actually genuinely don't don't want to speak to him anymore. Um, so I'd trouble with that idea. Uh, we'll leave that on. Go and have a look at it and see what you think. Make comment. You know? Because he maybe isn't bright enough to watch my channel updates. The vast majority of people don't can see the sense that, that these speed humps are stupid, like, you know. Uh, this guy, right? Big C, on about my engine and my Volkswagen. Now, what he's doing is that classic thing where people tell you what to do based on their own needs and wishes and ambitions. And I kind of stopped him. So he, he was telling me. Right, do like, you ever seen the Clint Eastwood film where the guys offend the mule and uh, Clint Eastwood says my mule's evil, easily offended now if you were to apologise and as I'm sure you will that's the only I can't get through to my mule because you offended my mule you know so if you say things about my Volkswagen you're, or my wheelie bins you're offending me right so he goes, I said it's a 2.4 diesel, it's a five cylinder. It doesn't, it's, the engine in my Volkswagen is pretty worn. It's been like that for a few years. It's got a ticking noise. I think one of the injectors is not working right. I'm not really into fixing vans and cars. I can't be asked. I use it for going to the market and that's what I, and store and stuff. I'm not into working in cars. And that's the situation that I find myself in. So I don't need somebody else telling me what I should do. You know, you see, when, you, when you're talking to somebody, you need to find out a bit about their situation. So he says, explains a lot. You should get a turbo, get it turboed and released the beast. 2.4s, but he set up right. The Volvo 2.5 turbo injectors will slip right in there. I mean, fuck, I just use it to go to the market, you moron. So I says, performance is not one of my requirements with this particular vehicle. You're expressing your needs and wishes onto me. Right, that was that. Uh, this fucking idiot, right? Christ, oh, this is quite a good answer I gave him here. Have you got a time to listen to this crap? Christ, how has this shit ended up on my feed? Like, who the fuck films trucks? Is it a sexual thing? I will attempt to give a logical answer to the three points you have made. One, you ask for it. The algorithms know you better than you do. Two, truck spotters film trucks. Anyone with an interest in vehicles, cars, trucks, ETC, EC, trains and plane, aeroplane, airplane sort of might also film trucks. In my case, I film infrastructure as part of my art practice. Three, this is where it gets weird. Sexual thing, <coughs> brackets, i.e. fetishism. I never heard of anyone getting an erection or wet fanny directly as a result of filming trucks. Although it could happen simultaneously, it has been well documented that some men have been known to have intercourse with sheep Tables, sofas, other men, ugly women, relatives, hose pipes, themselves, if long enough. But trucks? No, don't think so. What you are getting into is a sexualization of everything. Essentially, sex is for procreation. But with modern advances in medicine, social expectations and changes, it's anyone's guess what sex is for. Put it this way, if your genetics continually find themselves in a truck exhaust, your genes will die out. Forever. It's heavy stuff, hard to articulate. <laughs> I don't know if he's read that. This one. I can't see anything. I don't see anything. Try spec savers. They are doing appointments. Dumb bastard. Stop horsing around. Right, John. That's the, the horse video. That's a beautiful horse. Right. <coughs> see, some people like what I do. What a bit of funny comedy. Brilliant fucking crap me up with that laughing. Nice. Uh, so this guy, this is the idiot. 
this is what I probably should have blocked this idiot, but I didn't. Right, so this is about Falkirk Char- Charging Hub A9, the police with an electric van, right? So, the whole electric vehicle thing, I think most normal people can realise it's a lot of shit, right? It's a scam. So the government are sort of... The government bodies... I know the post office isn't a government body, but the NHS, the police, the council, all these bodies are getting these electric vans and vehicles. So the taxpayer pays for them. And they are extremely bad for the environment. They are, you know, they're not useful. That A van is a bad idea for an electric vehicle. So is a Tesla, so is a Porsche. Because of the problems with lithium batteries, it's an extremely bad idea. There's so many bad sides to it. And it's a, it's, it's a toxic time bomb waiting. <coughs> Along with the wind farms as well. All that is doing is making rich people richer, right? That, there's no doubt about it. You can look that up. <laughs> making rich people richer and NHS and the police. So that, what it demonstrates is the police are working for the globalists. They're working for the the money people who are advocating that we do these things in order to save... I'll do that thing. How do you do that again? Save the planet, right? Uh, so this idea... What the fuck are you talking about, question mark? How the hell is powering a vehicle from electricity generated in the UK worse than buying petrol made from oil dug up in Middle Eastern trillion dollar petrol state run by dictators? I can't tell if you need to take more drugs or less. Right, see that, normally I would block somebody for that. You shouldn't talk about people taking drugs and let, you know, accuse people of taking drugs. Uh, that's not nice, right? But because he opened himself up there. So what I said was, renewable liquid fuels, petrol and diesel, which can be used in normal ice vehicles, makes them six times less poll- polluting than electric vehicles, in part because electric vehicles are very heavy to have high particulate outputs. So what renewable liquid fuels is, that's E10 and E5. They come from America for the most part. So they're grown, you know, they're grown on the land, uh, liquid fuels, you know, the other, was it biodiesel? Um, so the whole, so that's internal combustion engine vehicles, so six times less polluting than electric vehicles, you know, I mean, it's a totally crazy, crazy thing to do to get, to, 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 to change the electric vehicle, it's not going to work. It's a, a nightmare. It might, it might work in 100 years' time or 50 years' time, but not, not now. It's, they're not ready for it. It's a disaster, right? You're a moron. It's you that, you know, you're accusing me of taking drugs. You know, it's you that's got a problem, not me, because you're thick. Right, so answer that. I, I think you're so, probably somewhat ignorant. And you, if you're going to discuss things with people, you know, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? You know? Why can't you just ask civilly? How the hell's power vehicle generated by UK worse than by... It's bloody worse. The other thing about this is the dictators. They're all dictators, you moron. So, you know, the UAE, Q8, Saudi Arabia, they're democratic monarchies. Like the UK. You know, I mean... So it's, what, what are you talking about, dictators? Yeah, they, they are dictators. So what are you trying to tell me, that Tony Blair isn't a dictator? Is that what you're saying, you moron? You know, it's like, so that's the thing, the drug thing, right? So this guy's an idiot, right? Total, completely not an idiot. So that's it, really. Um, oh, there's a, there's a snot, there's a snotogram coming. Should have checked that. What a moron, Bruce. Don't even know what you're talking about, you yabelend. It's no illegal. Police wasting resources at Falkirk. Who's who said it's illegal? What are you talking about? <coughs> <coughs> What's he talking about? Um, so they've got they've come around with a police car, and they are part part that van there. Oh, what a fickle! Um, and um. So they've, right. they've come around with a police car and 
they are right it's part, you know end of any brains can see you know that's an electric charging point and it's it's actually plugged in and there's another one right within the shop there. there it's got um, electric stuff right on inside it and maybe what he means is he thinks that I'm saying they're parked illegally so he's obviously a bit dim you know wasting resources well that's nothing about parking illegally is it so I mean it's just uh, it's a thick so it's easy to deal with um, somebody thick like that so you go and have a wee look and see what he's done he's uh, got four subscribers he's from Scotland hashtag was that forward slash Bruce it's maybe related to um, Robert the Bruce <laughs> Uh, yeah, because Robert Bruce isn't Scottish, of course, uh, but you wouldn't know that because you're too thick. Um, so we'll hide you from the channel. Oh, you know, it's, see these thick people, it's like, you know, don't even know what you're talking. See, what I do is I, do, I, I go over this and then I delete them and that's it. You know, it's, it's you, you really should, it's, maybe, there's a lot of people seem to find these updates entertaining, so... Um, I've actually deleted a lot of them today. Just dumb, dumb things like that. It's no illegal. So how would you expect to have a discourse with somebody when you say it like that? You know, so, oh, look, delete it, move on. I might actually get rid of this moron. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm saying you shouldn't be like mean to people, but they're being mean to me. You know, they're speaking to me. They don't recognise that I'm actually a person here. It's for entertainment, most of this. But anyway, right. So it's at 2,012 subscribers. It went up quite a lot today. It was um, 2,905 this morning. Um, I've done a lot of videos. I mean, I've got two phones now. <laughs> right, so uh, let's get going. Let's wrap this up. I'll have a quick look at that, and then we'll go. Um, right. So that, that's the shed with B&Q. That was the shed... The homophobic shed that I bought and I did my, when I got my art degree. I built the whole thing up and uh, it was quite cool actually. I sold it when I was finished. Got, you know, more or less, like slightly less than what I paid for it and delivered it. Um, so that was my art degree. Uh, it was like adult stuff, it was conceptual art is what it was. There, there's, it, it's actually in the, the video that that is on my YouTube channel, the first video you see. Uh, that was outside the care home at Ratloch. Some of this stuff just chucked in, and that's what happens to us when we die. Very sad, but a reality. So you need to sort your stuff out as you go along. That's the drip road. I love that one. I would say that one there. That, that, there's something about that one that I really like. Um, some of the other ones, you know, they're not all completely brilliant. Um, that was doing the rat luck. That shed. When I was at college, I used to go along the, the munch punch there. I know a lady that that was running at the time. And uh, there's of course the horses, part of the the Range Rover. There's a Range Rover chasing the horses while a fox driving the Range Rover. It's quite cool, but it's too freaking big, you know. <laughs> um, so um, I hope you like these. I mean, some of them like that one's not that brilliant, you know. But so my intention is to frame all these. These are the originals. Uh, frame them all, have them framed and put them up on the walls, and then eventually I'll get a website sorted and start, you know, selling them. But I just haven't got myself organised. There's loads of them in there. Uh, some of them maybe not so good, you know. As we mess about oils, it's a learning curve, learning how to be an artist. Uh, you know, you'll have the talent, but it needs to be brought out of you. You know, um, the jag with the polar bear. It has to be brought out. Yeah, I don't think you can really do it on your own. Um, you know. So that was. Well, these these are quite interesting. That was, uh, you know, in Edinburgh, uh, sort of beggar type. Actually, I thought about doing that actually, but I think people find it that I'm not really. Anyway, right, that one's pretty cool. Beggar down there. Can you see the way I put distance between that lady? She's actually a lady. You wouldn't even know she was there. That was in Edinburgh, near Waverley Station. The people were walking along. Natural, I remember it not being like that. You know, like, the people were closer to that person. It doesn't seem... I seem to manage to get some kind of feeling of isolation there without even thinking about it. Um, it is something I seem to be good at. Um, 
you know that so there's feeling in I, th- I believe